Hello everyone, I'm John Pollock. He is Wei Ting, and this way is a segment we like to call Raw in Three Minutes. Do you have your watch ready? Yeah, <laughs> I think I do. Raw went down from Oklahoma City, fresh off the loss of the Thunder, the Golden State Warriors. And did we get an episode way that was better or worse than Thunder back in the day? Wow, what a you just combined so many different worlds. I don't even know what to say. That wasn't even my intended <laughs> open. Uh, but what we should have done was like 20 seconds in. Come on, man. What we should have we gotta... done was get two ladders and started this show with you on a ladder and me on a ladder. <laughs> and we have our two microphones and then we talk about Raw and people just say that we are citizens of Idiotville. That's how we should have started this show. I didn't mind that opening segment. I thought it was a neat visual to kind of, you know, to get get off the path of coming out individually and making a match together at the end. We had a number of Teddy Long cameos where he came out. I don't know what the reason was to have Teddy Long on this show, but he was there in multiple segments. It was sort of a funny gag. I think it was done just to remind everybody that this uh, brand split was on its way. Uh, we had a bunch of singles matches with the six Money in the Bank competitors. Jericho lost to Cesaro. We had Kevin Owens lose to Dean Ambrose. And if I'm remembering correctly, Alberto Del Rio defeated Sami Zayn. John Cena and AJ Styles, they had a Twitter war. You're doing all this by for memory. You're yeah, not I'm not even looking notes. today at notes. <laughs> they had a promo battle where John Cena came out and he was confronted, or he asked AJ to come out, yeah. and it led to John Cena running down AJ Styles' WWE run and said that he's been a bust and that he's just a waste of space. I thought both men delivered their promos well. Uh, however, they were a little disjointed and I thought Cena almost came on too strong and you know, kind of made his opponent, opponent look a little too weak um, heading into the next week. And that's what AJ said. He came back and said, when people work with you, they get buried. And that's why I've got my shovel holders next to me, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. I didn't like this at all. I thought they really took the edge off what they started last week. This was not a, uh, this is not the death of this feud, but I, I thought it was a, a real step backward after last week. Last week was a great start to that angle. I liked it a lot. Uh, into the third hour we go. Teddy Long was kicked out of the arena by Stephanie, who was, she was complete heel this week. There was no babyface tendencies. Shane McMahon was off the show. So presumably next week, Shane should be coming back and he's ready to go to war with Stephanie. That's if Shane had access to USA. Maybe he was on the road and couldn't watch it. Oh boy. The, the old Spike TV problem Ooh. that Hulk Hogan had. That's right. Couldn't get Spike in his hotel room. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, the main event was AJ Styles, Carl Anderson, and Doc Gallows defeating the New Day. It was a three-on-two match after they took out Xavier Woods. And no Rollins, no Reigns on the show, but they were showcased uh, with, with videos that were very strong. I thought they were effective, but it made me want to cheer for Rollins still. All right. So it was a bit better than an average episode of Thunder. Yeah. 